Why are business metrics so important to IT and, and to you here at Williams? So I have divided kind of two uh, uh, set of metrics for IT, but they are tied to business metrics, and I'll come to in a minute. Uh, the first set of metrics is directly in line with uh, our, our operations metrics, um, which is uh, traditional metrics in IT. You know, uh, what's your SLA and how many tickets you solved and um, how much time it takes to solve a certain set of problems. Typical, you know, uh, how many servers you have and how, what's the available time or downtime. Very typical metrics, but these are the metrics I call keep the lights on. So my directors who are responsible for either application availability or infrastructure or server or network availability, they are paid to give me a certain level of service. So that's the typical operation metrics everywhere um, in IT used. The second set of metrics are tricky, and, and this is what we have created a little different. One of the things uh, which I have done is created what I call uh, center of Excellence for Business Process Improvement. Mm -hmm. So IT over here is organized by uh, operating area and functional area. So think about operating area as a BU's. So we, we, we in BU basically it's a pure commercial function. Bring the contract, put those contract into, into the system, operate them make sure that we are able to move gas, we are able to comply with the contractual obligations. So a, a, a set of folks just helping the operating area run uh, you know, the way it is. Definitely customer focus, uh, including customer satisfaction, including a co contractual obligation. The second set of uh, center of excellence which I talked about, which is more important, is about enterprise-wide, end-to-end, uh, process area. So number one is what we call operational excellence in Williams. That includes uh, me you know, measurement and SCADA and, and billing and nomination. Those are the things we call in, in an oil and gas, uh, which basically means what we call um, um, order to cash. Mm -hmm. You know, that's this what this is. How do you run this? That includes ma uh, maintenance because we operate plants and compressors and pipelines. So um, we have to, uh, that this also includes safety. We, as I said, we are heavily regulated. But by law, we have to make sure our pipeline is safe. You don't want pipeline exploding. I mean, these are very dangerous things. So these, we have systems, applications, which we have put across cutting all OAs, operating areas, for operational excellence. Mm -hmm. The other area would be like engineering and construction. As I said, just in 2012, we gave uh, Street, uh, you know, seven billion dollar of capex, not counting any acquisition, just greenfield buildup of pipelines and gathering systems. Seven billion. So you can just imagine the amount of you know, rigor we have to put in the mm -hmm. systems and process and costing and scheduling because most of these constructions are contractual. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we, we sign a contract with Chevron and that requires a certain amount of gas to start flowing by the end of the contract. So these, so these process areas in IT are going to be measured by what process improvement we bring to the table. So yesterday, when we were supporting these process areas, we were spending X amount of money. Right. Today, based on process improvement, based on digitization, based on automation, I spend for same X amount. So it's a productivity measure. It's and a, these are hard measures too. These are hard uh, measures for the most part. Okay. And 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 uh, you know, as I said, one of the one of the things uh, we have put is a hard number, which which I gave last month to board of directors. So we have said that we're going to save you, say, say $25 million mm -hmm. in next 24 to 36 months. That includes Williams uh, functional uh, savings in, in other functions like operations, like um, finance, like sourcing, even, and it includes IT, what mm -hmm. we can say. At the same time, you remember the first metrics, which was operations, that I need to keep up my service level as high as possible. So. I know these metrics can be con conflicting because 
IT is always blamed for being most expensive function in an organization. But the trick is how can you get both of these as much as possible. So keep your operation metrics high, but bring me the process improvement. Bring me the productivity. Well, if you can, if if you can, if you can do that latter part while you're maintaining, you know, doing all your your, your IT stuff, doesn't one kind of justify the other more or less? Uh, it, it, that, that's that's the good way to put it. Personally, to me, the 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 savings I get, I put it back in the business. Mm -hmm. Whether it's uh, it give money back to the CEO so they can invest in more commercial contracts, more basin, more build out. Or if we acquire a business, I can justify supporting them better, higher service level. As I said, we operate in places where there is no infrastructure. Mm. And, and, and in very difficult scenarios. I mean, if you take a look at our op tech, which is the guy who is in the middle of nowhere holding a laptop in his hand, and trying to plug the serial port into that EFM so that he can calibrate the meters. Today's meters are all digitized. And calibration is very important because we want to make sure the amount of gas we are sending to a customer is the same as what we think. Mm -hmm. And I would like to replace that eight pound laptop with something smaller like iPad or Surface or some tablet. Uh, but what we are finding is you know, they don't come with a serial port. Mm -hmm. so, so these are the challenges. I mean, how can I make this guy more productive so he can do more, he or she can do more of the calibration faster, quicker, better, um, and safer? I mean, think about that. You are standing on a hill, measuring a meter, balancing one hand with an eight pound laptop, and trying to plug in serial port and do all the good stuff. Training them, training is very important. As you can imagine, we, we are a very fluid business. We grow and shrink depending on where you find the gas. You know, you go and you find the gas after 10, 12 years, you run out of gas, you go to another area, you build. So it's always build and, and shut it down and build, shut it down. That means hiring people, training people, moving people. That requires a ton of training. Mm -hmm. And some of these trainings are required by federal laws. Mm -hmm. So you cannot, you know, making all those things work and still having your IT basic service level high mm -hmm. is a very tricky metric. But you do seem to be drawing a pretty straight line between this uh, rigorous attention to metrics and Williams being more competitive out the other side in terms of you know promising what you what you say you're going to deliver and so forth. Is that is that an accurate statement? Yeah, it's, it's an accurate statement. I mean, uh, as I said, we not only uh, uh, create metrics for us inside the William aligning with the other functions and board of directors. Mm -hmm. But we also take a look at our, our, our peers. I, I would not like to be number two compared to my peers in the same industry uh, by any benchmark. So if somebody does a better job of GIS, which is geogra you know, geographic information system, very big deal in our industry, I would like to be number one when it comes to providing solutions to my engineers because they have to lay the pipeline based on that information or they have to maintain pipeline based on that information. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to be the most expensive one either. So benchmarking with outsiders is also important and, and it's not easy. I mean, there is no easy report, you know, you just gather from Gardner and, uh, and, and, and do it. You have to look around your shoulders and really find your peers, which that's why it's very important that I don't create another set of peers than my boss or my CEO or my board of directors. We got the same peers. Our numbers, our metrics are same and part and parcel of this organization. There is no differentiation. Uh, and, and that's how we derive. We start with corporate vision. We start with company's vision. We start with goals of you know, CEO and then it comes to goals of mine and then goals. So the goals and metrics, whether it's a hard or soft, they start from top and they go to bottom. And same way the performance management goes from bottom all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. So and that's that's what that's what we were trying to, to achieve over here.